Hello everyone. Recently, I was shared an SQL problem that was asked during an Amazon interview. And that's exactly what we will be solving in this video. Now, as you can see, the problem statement is pretty simple. We have been given an input table and we need to write a query which is going to derive the output as shown here. So the problem statement basically states, generate a report to showcase the period of presence and absence of each employee as shown in the expected output. So the input table basically has information about two different employees, A1 and A2. Then we have the few different dates and then we have the status, whether present or absent. What we need to do is for each employee, we need to find the from date and the to date when the employee was present and absent. Okay. So for example, for employee A1, the first three dates, that is the first Jan, second Jan and third Jan, the employee was present, right? So for these three records, we need to transform that and showcase in the output as one record. That is for the employee A1, the from date is 1st Jan until the 3rd of Jan, the employee was present. Then on 4th of Jan, the employee was absent. So the from date and to date is both 4th of Jan, as you can see here, right? And then when it comes to 5th and 6th Jan, the employee was present. So the from date is 5th Jan, the to date is 6th Jan and that is present, right? And we need to apply this transformation or this logic for all the employees for all the dates. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this problem that we're solving in this video was asked during an Amazon interview. And Amazon is one of the hiring partners of Odin School. Recently, one of the Odin School students did get placed in Amazon. So what exactly is Odin School? Now, Odin School is an online platform that offers live instructor-led boot camps related to data science and other fields. And Odin School also acts as a job application portal. So if you have taken a bootcamp on Odin School, you also have an option to apply for jobs directly through the Odin School platform. Now, there is an upcoming data science bootcamp cohort starting on Odin School from 29th of June. This is a bootcamp where you will kind of learn all the different skills that you need to get into a data science job such as SQL, Python, Excel, Statistics, Power BI and much more. And you will also be doing capstone projects using all the different skills that you have learned. Odin School also have reduced the prices of their bootcamp by almost 25%. And you can also apply for scholarships. You have EMI options. And there are a lot of success stories of students who have been successfully placed by taking up these bootcamps. So if you are interested in the upcoming bootcamp, or if you want to know more about the success stories of the past Odin School students, then I leave a link in the video description. You can definitely check that out. Thank you Odin School for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into solving today's problem. Now, in order to solve this problem, I will be using the PostgreSQL database and I'm using the PG admin tool. I have already created the table employee attendance as you can see here, right? Now, how do I solve this kind of a problem? Let's think how we can solve it. So you can see that I have these three records here. So the for employee A1, the employee was present for the first three dates, right? So these three records, I need to kind of treat it like one window or one group right once i can put these three records into one group then within this group i can easily fetch the first record that is the the first value the least date value as my from date and the last date or the last record to be my to date and i can easily do that by using the window function first value and last value so if i can somehow come up with the logic to treat these three records as one group or one window then I can easily apply the first value and last value window function to fetch the from date and to date that is required in my expected output, right? Same way, then I could treat the fourth record or this particular record for 4th of Jan to be one single group or one single window. And here, because it's just one record, the first value and the last value would basically be the same as what we need in the expected output, right? And the same thing for the next two records. So fifth and sixth, if I can group them together, then I can basically treat that to be one window. Within that window, I can apply the first value and the last value, right? So that means I definitely will need to use the first value and last value to get my from date and to date. But the challenging part is how do I group this data together based on their consecutive days of presence or consecutive days of absence, right? Now, in order to do that, we can apply the logic of finding n consecutive numbers. Now, if you have followed my channel, I have made previous, I think one or two videos where I have solved this kind of problems where we have applied the logic to find n consecutive numbers, right? And that same logic we are going to apply here, okay? So in order to find n consecutive numbers, there can be a few different ways you could do that. 
one of the easiest ways of doing that is by using the row number window function okay and that's exactly what i'm going to do so first and foremost i'm just going to apply the row number window function here to this main table so i'll say row number over i'm going to do a partition by the employee because there are multiple employees here and i need to treat them separately so i'll say partition by employee order by again employee comma dates okay and i'm going to name this column like rn okay if i run it i'm still getting the same number of 15 records but here i have the row number from 1 to 10 and for the second employee i have the row number from 1 to 5 right this is fine now why i did this is because i want to basically find the consecutive records where an employee was present or consecutive records where an employee was absent right now First of all, let us try to find the consecutive records where the employee was only present, right? So for that, first and foremost, I'll just put this whole thing into a CT. So I'll save it CT as I'll move this to the right. And here I'll just tell select star from CTE. If I, if I just run this, I'm still getting the same output. Okay. But what I want to do here is I want to apply a filter saying that where I'll just put it here saying that uh, let's say the status equal to present okay if i run it now you can see that i am only getting okay nine records but this is for two different employees let me just consider only one employee for now so that it becomes easier for me to explain and also easier for you to understand so i'll just tell employee equal to a1 okay just considering one employee so now for only for employee a1 now there are I think six days when he was he or she was present and you can see the values in the row number okay now if you look at the row number here I have one two three five six and ten if you look carefully one two three is fine but four is missing why four is missing because the record where the row number was four the status of that basically that employee was absent similarly five six is present but seven eight nine is absent because seven eight nine are the records where the employee was having the status as absent right now this is fine now why i need this kind of a row number is because on top of this i'm going to again apply the row number function so let's say if i'll just apply this row number function here and if i just run it now you can see that on for this entire six records when i apply the row number again i have this sequential row number from one until six right this is fine but now if i just subtract this value with this value right so 1 minus 1 is 0 2 minus 2 is 0 3 minus 3 is 0 that means the first three records are going to get the same value that is 0 so using that value i can group them together right so let's say i will just do that so i'm just going to copy this i'll keep this as as it is i'll say rn minus this row number and i'm going to name it like let's say flag if i run it now you can see that 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 3 minus 3 will all return 0 so that means this flag here is basically going to be my indicator to identify the group of records so the first three records is going to be should be treated as one group or one partition right or one window so then the next two records so 5 minus 4 is 1 6 minus 5 is 1 so these two records are having the flag as one so they should be treated again together as one partition right and the third record the last record here is 10 minus 6 is 4 so this will be treated as a separate partition or a separate group right now using this field i can do the final partition and use the first value and last value to fetch the from date and the to date right so that's exactly what i will do here so i'm just going to move this to the right and i'll just tell cte underscore present and okay i'll put a comma here and open the parentheses close the parentheses i'll just tell select star from cte underscore present if i run it i should have got the same output but i missed the as keyword here so now if i run it i'm getting the same output but what i actually need is to find the from date and to date right so for that what i'll do is first of all i'll just move this down and here i'm just going to say I'll use the first value window function so i'll say first value and whatever value i want to fetch i will put that later but first of all let's say how do i create these um, windows or partitions right so i'm good i'm just going to say over partition by first of all i have multiple employees so i need to have separate partitions for each employee that's first thing the second thing i need to partition based on this indicator that is this flag column right so i'll say flag 
right and then i think i need to do an order by so i'll say order by employee comma dates right and this whole thing i'm going to name it like from date okay and one important thing is i need to pass an argument for first value that is a value that it's going to fetch right so within each of this window so within it's big because i'm doing this uh, partition based on employee and flag so whenever the flag is zero it's going to treat it like one window within this one window three records are present within that three record the first record or the first value is this value that is the two date right i want so i'll say dates and this is going to be my from date and the same thing let's say i'll just execute this if i execute this you can see that i'm getting this new column from date and for these three record because they belong to the same partition i'm having the same value from date the next two record again they belong to the same partition i have the same first value that is 5th of jan right and the same thing for the last record now this is fine for the first value now when it comes to the last value i'll again copy this and i'll put it here and so first value i'll just use the last value window function everything else stays the same i just need to change the column name i'll say to date if i run it ideally what should have happened is within this partition the first value was first gen the last value of third gen so all these three records should have got third gen but that is not happening here it is because of the default frame clause right now if you don't know what is frame clause i would recommend you to watch my window function tutorial where i have explained in detail about frame clause so i'll not explain that here again okay but in order to change the default frame clause we just need to use the range between keyword so range between i'll say unbounded preceding and unbounded uh following okay and i think that's all now if i run it now you can see that the two date is 3rd of jan here and here it is 6th of jan and that is the correct one that we wanted right so i think we have got the correct records that we needed for the employee a1 for whenever he was present but i don't need all of these fields what i need is exactly the employee name right i need the employee and i need the status and the from and to date right so in order to get the status i'll just put the status here and if i run it these are the exact records that i want okay but you see here these three records are kind of repeated so in order to remove the duplicate records i can just use distinct if i run it now you can see that for employee a1 the employee was present from 1st jan until 3rd jan the employee was again present from 5th to 6th jan and then the employee was again present from 10th to 10th of jan right so this is fine and i have got the data whenever the employee is present now i need to find whenever the employee was absent in order to do that i can ex again copy the same logic so i'll just copy this and i'll put it here i'll rename this ct present to cte absent here the filter i'll just put like absent and let's say i'll still keep a1 okay and i think i'll just comment out this code so i'll comment out this and i'll put another query here just for ct absent okay and if i run it and let's say i'll remove the distinct if i run it now you can see that for a1 the a employee a1 was absent on 4th of jan as you can see here and then the employee uh, a1 was absent on 789 but it's not showing here properly let's do a star here so you see all the fields now you can see that the employee was absent on employee a1 was absent on 7th 8th and 9th and the first value is showing 7th and the last value is 9th right so looks like the query is working for present as well as for absent status right now i need to take the records or the final out in order to get the final output i need to take all the records from present as well as from the status absent so i can just use the union clause so here i'll uncomment this one and i'll put a union clause here and i'll remove the distinct keyword because i don't need to use distinct when i have a union here right so now if i run it you can see that for employee a1 i'm getting five records so from first to third jan employee was present fourth jan employee is absent fifth to sixth employee is present seventh to ninth employee is absent and tenth to tenth employee is present so this is the query that is working absolutely fine for employee a1 but i want it to work for all the employees so i'm just going to remove this filter and now if i run it and let's say i'll just sort the data based on um order by employee comma let's say from date if i run it 
Now you can see that I am getting the five records for A1 and the four records for A2. And this is exactly what I wanted in my expected output. Okay. So this is basically my solution to this particular problem. I hope you liked the problem. I hope you understood the solution. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.